What is the standard deviation? The standard deviation is a measure that indicates how much data scatter around the mean. Here is a simple example. Let's say we measure the height of a small group of people. The standard deviation tells us how much our data scatter around the mean. So first we need to calculate the mean. We can get the mean simply by summing the heights of all individuals and dividing it by the number of individuals. Let's say we get a mean value of 155 centimeters. Now we want to know how much each person deviates from the mean. So we look at the first person who deviates 18 centimeters from the mean value. The second person deviates 8 centimeters from the mean value. The third 15 centimeters. The fourth 8 centimeters. The fifth 9 centimeters. And finally the last person deviates 6 centimeters from the mean value. Simply said, people that are very tall or very small deviate more from the mean value. But we are not interested in the deviation of each individual person from the mean value. We want to know how much the persons on average deviate from the mean value. This is what the standard deviation tells us. In our example, the average deviation from the mean value is 11.5 cm. To calculate the standard deviation, we can use this equation. Sigma is the standard deviation, n is the number of persons, xi is the size of each person, and x bar is the mean value of all persons. So each individual person has some deviation from the mean, but on average the people deviate 11.5 cm from the mean, which is the standard deviation. So far so good, but now there's one more thing to consider. There are two slightly different equations for the standard deviation. The difference is that in the first case we divide by n, and in the second case by n minus 1. But why are there two different equations? Usually we want to know the standard deviation of the population. For example, we want to know the standard deviation of the height of all Austrian professional soccer players. Now, if we had the height of really all Austrian professional soccer players, we would take this equation with 1 divided by n. However, it is usually not possible to survey the entire population, so we draw a sample. Then we use the sample to estimate the standard deviation of the population. In that case, you use this equation with n minus 1. To keep it simple, if our survey doesn't cover the whole population, we always use this equation. 